We live here. We fish and hunt and gather on the Klamath River every single day. We're not going anywhere. We're connected to this place and we care about it and we'll do anything to protect it. I don't think there's any fishery where the participants in the fishery have such a vested interest as Yurok tribal members. It's extremely important for food and subsistence, but it's also a part of their identity and who they are and their culture and their religion. There was this understanding between our environment and ourselves that if you took something, you gave back. With salmon, for example, and, and everything really, you never took more than you needed. What has changed is the way that fish are managed in sort of a Western European way. That's, of course, out of our control. Overfishing, climate change, dams, there are definitely environmental factors that affect our fish. And there are, I think, ramifications for our health. You know, we believe that the health of our environment and the health of our river is a direct reflection of the health of the people. Dams are coming out and we know that's gonna be great. It's gonna be great for water quality. We're real involved with the activities ranging from managing our fishery harvest, restoration of fisheries habitat, and pretty large scale habitat restoration projects that deals with fisheries habitat and tributaries that feed into the reservation, making sure that we have enough water to support the fish populations. One thing that the tribe has taken on is what we call the salmon sanctuary, which is basically taking industrial timberland and converting it back to an old growth forest. But we know that there's more work that needs to be done. Science is a good tool. Education is a good tool. Partnerships with outside entities are good tools to help restore the balance here. We're having to put our brains together be able to adequately address the conditions in the river before dams come out and then after they come out. You don't design your projects in a way that's only beneficial in the short term. And you don't do it in a way that's only a single species beneficial. When we design our projects and we think about our science, it's forever. It's for many, many generations in the future beyond what you can even think of. That's what guides the decisions that are made here. I've learned to gain a real appreciation for the responsibility that's put upon those of us that choose to work for the tribe with the responsibility of restoring their fishery. It's, it's not just another job. It's something that you got to give it your best shot because for good reason, they will accept nothing less. Part of who we are as Yurok people and river people, we're, we're fix the earth people. 